Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be filming again. It doesn't seem any different to you guys, but I actually just got home from vacation and I haven't sat down to film a video in a couple of weeks. So I'm really excited to be able to sit down and be back in my studio. I'm so excited to see all my makeup and be back home again, but I had an amazing vacation and I thought it would be fun before I unpack my makeup that I brought with me to do a look using the stuff that I brought and share with you guys what I packed. So I actually went to Hawaii, which was so fun because I actually used to live there I lived there for a couple of years on and off And so it was really fun to be back and really fun to go to all my favorite spots eat all my favorite food But because it was like a more tropical super humid climate I didn't pack a ton of makeup. I'm actually proud of myself that I only packed um, My makeup in my classic bag collection, which is my smaller of my bag collections I usually bring an entire full bag collection when I travel because I like to have options when I'm getting ready. Um, but I am glad that I like made sure to not pack too much because I actually didn't even use a lot of the stuff that I brought. I used most of it though. And so I wanted to share with you guys everything that I brought with me and then do a quick look using it. So here's what it looks on the inside. If you didn't know, because I haven't shown this in a video for a while, um, I actually have my own makeup bag line. We designed these, my husband and I, so I have two bag collections. We also sell the inserts separately. So let me show you what I brought with me. So here's what it looks like. I've got my brow pencils and lip liners in here and I will go in depth as far as what colors I brought and stuff like that. I brought a handheld mirror. I also brought the Sigma switch with me because I thought like if I wanted to switch out some of my brushes there without bringing like a brush cleaner, I could. I honestly didn't end up using this on this trip because I didn't bring like an eyeshadow palette so I'll get into that more and more as we go along but um, here's what this looks like in the inside so I've got my two small everyday bags and then I have a little bit of room at the back here which I brought two other things so let's start by just applying makeup and then I'll show you whatever I don't use maybe at the end or maybe throughout as well. So something that I've learned about myself as I travel more and more, if it's something that's a little bit more of a casual, tropical type of a vacation, I actually don't find myself doing full on eyeshadow looks unless I'm going to stay at like a resort where we go out to dinner and it's really fancy, then I will do more eyeshadow looks. So because I knew that earlier about myself, I didn't actually pack an eyeshadow palette but I did bring some glitter toppers and things like that so I'm just gonna do um, a look that I did when we went out to dinner one night and I felt like kind of getting a little bit more glam and I will share with you guys some of the other products that I ended up using um, more for an everyday look. I didn't put on any makeup throughout the entire day because we were at the beach basically so um, to reapply sunscreen and stuff I don't like to have anything on my face so I didn't wear a drop of makeup throughout the day. You know after a long day at the beach and you get home and you get showered I sometimes wanted to do a little something for dinner even if it was like a casual dinner so let's just get started I brought quite a few things most of the things that I brought for base were from super goop because they have sunscreen built into them so I actually brought these two products right here which are um, formulated for the face so I don't find that I actually break out from these two even though they are not mineral sunscreens and I prefer using mineral sunscreens on an everyday basis but for underneath makeup in order to have that protection and also have a little bit of a grip I wanted to bring these so I have super goops glow screen and unseen sunscreen this one is so incredible underneath your face makeup in a humid climate it really does help with longevity so I will say that I've used this one more than glow screen because with the humidity my skin kind of like gets extra glowy versus here in Utah it's so dry so I feel like I need to really add in a lot of glowy products underneath and over top in order to get the same effect that the air gives me in Hawaii so I'm gonna start off with the unseen sunscreen since that's what I use the most to start out my makeup looks while I was there um I do feel like my skin is going to need a little TLC because you guys know how it is when traveling. I was wearing my mask everywhere because normally, you know, I just stay home most of the time. So I was wearing my mask everywhere we went and my skin is so sensitive. So between the mask over top of this area and flying on planes and the humidity and sweating a lot, my skin definitely needs a little extra TLC now that I'm home, but it's all good. I have some good concealers that will help too 
kind of blend out some of those spots that I have right now. So this is a little bit more of a matte finish. I really love it. I love that there's an SPF of 40 in here. So after I applied that, I only brought these two as far as liquid goes. I do have a powder foundation I will show you guys that I used on more casual occasions. This is the Super Goop CC screen. Now this one also has SPF in it. It's SPF 50, so I wouldn't technically have to layer another one underneath, but again, I like the longevity that this has, so it works really well for me. I love this. It wears so well. I brought two shades. I brought 206W and 105N, because when I first arrived, I actually got a spray tan, so I was a lot more tan um, than when I left. <laughs> The spray tan definitely wore off quickly and I was glowing in the ocean, but that's all right. Um, so I'm gonna do half and half, a little bit more of the lighter color right now because I have zero tan left. So I'm just gonna mix these two. This almost has like a gel consistency. It's really interesting. Like the texture is really interesting, I guess. Um, I really love it. I brought this Bobbi Brown full coverage face brush as my foundation brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out all over. As I was planning to sit down and film this, I went on Sephora and kind of looked up making sure that a lot of these products that I used are still available. And I went on Sephora's website to find this CC screen and I was really offended by the reviews on this because I personally am obsessed with it. It wears so well. I think it deserves higher reviews than what it gets. I found that even when I did a more full coverage look with this and I wore a mask to and from the restaurants we were going to, it didn't rub off, it didn't move around. I really find that this wears well on me, especially in a more intense, humid climate. So it works well for me, I'm obsessed with it. Um, I brought the Beauty Blender, this is the Electric Violet Swirl one, I don't know if they still make this limited edition one, but I got this damp um, and I actually carried it in the container that it comes with because it has a little hole at the top. So anytime we moved Airbnbs, because we kind of hopped around a little bit while we were there, I would just throw it into this and that's how I brought my sponge with me. So I'm just gonna press this into the skin even more and you'll see it gives a really beautiful kind of a dewy finish, but again, it's very long lasting on me. I'm, I'm really in love with this. I can't even tell you how proud I was that I brought one product basically per category. I guess I have a couple more complexion products than other things, but I brought like one setting powder or one loose setting powder, one bronzer. Yeah, I'm really impressed with myself at how minimal I was this time around when it comes to packing. So you'll see, I love how this looks. I really do, I love the finish. Okay, so I brought a couple of concealers. I actually only ended up using a couple of them. Um, I had packed this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. I've packed this before on vacations and love it for more glamorous looks. Um, it lasts really well through humidity and heat, but I actually didn't reach for it this time around because I ended up doing more simple looks. So when it came down to it, I actually just used my NARS Soft Matte complete concealers. I brought two shades because again, I did have a spray tan. So at first I was using this one underneath the eyes. It's light 2.75 Canel. And then, you know, as my spray tan wore off, I went back to my original shade, which is light to vanilla. So for today, since I don't have any spray tan left in me, I'm gonna go ahead and use the light to vanilla. I also always make sure to bring my two favorite concealer brushes. I packed the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush and the Fenty Beauty Concealer Brush. I think I think I used the Rare Beauty one a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this underneath the eyes. I love the airbrush effect that this gives. A little bit goes a long way. So, you know, when I wanted a little bit more of a glamorous look, so I wanted a bit of coverage and slight airbrush look in the center, this is what I used. For more everyday occasions, I stuck to my Banana Low Lighter. I just used this. This is from Rodeal. It doesn't have major coverage, um, but it really does a good job at brightening the under eye area, which I love. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of 275 mixed in just for these blemishes here because I don't want to like highlight them with the vanilla shade, so. That's one of my best tips actually, is to make sure you bring a couple shades of concealers 
So you can mix and match, especially if you tan easily. I personally do not. Um, so for me, I like to match my spray tan and as it fades, I have to mix the foundations and concealers a little differently. But that way you're not left with one shade of something. And then, you know, in case you get a little more tan or your spray tan wears off, like you can adjust accordingly. And then I just take my sponge and press that in. When I packed this makeup bag, I was actually kind of in a hurry. So I threw in a, a couple extra things. Like I brought like four brow products, which was probably overkill, but I kind of panicked because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use more. But overall, I feel like I did a pretty good job and I am pretty like happy with all the products that I brought and also how they performed while I was there. Like I really didn't have any regrets as far as the things that I did bring which is great, always. All right, for loose setting powder, I brought just one. I brought the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Now, I did actually bring the deeper shade, so I've been raving about, here it is. I've been raving about the shade Sugar Cookie a lot um, for brightening, but again, since I started out with the spray tan and I was you know, in Hawaii, I wasn't too concerned about brightening the face too much, so I just stuck with this one. It has a little bit more of like a peachy undertone. This is the shade Cupcake. It worked great. It brightened the under eyes when I did have a spray tan and then as it wore off, it, it looks fine. Like it just kind of blends into my natural skin tone. So I'm gonna start off by setting the under eyes with this. I brought the entire collection of the Morphe and Makeup by Ariel um, brush collection, the brush set, and used basically every single brush. I love this collection. So this is one from that collection. It's the A14 brush. It's amazing for setting the under eyes with powder. So I'm gonna start there, kind of get a little bit of powder into the brows as well. And then I brought this brush. This is the Zoeva 108 face brush. I like to bring something like this to set the rest of the face. So this also helped a lot when wearing a mask, making sure that I really pressed powder into this area here, just so that I had as minimal transfer as possible. I haven't quite experienced zero transfer when wearing a mask. I mean, it's really difficult to not have any, but I am really proud to say that I feel like I did have very, very minimal transfer when doing this routine. So I'm just gonna keep pressing that into the skin and on the forehead as well. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use something. I was totally planning on using this right here, the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Fair. This comes with me on every vacation because it's the shade Fair, but I feel like it works really well if I do have a little bit of a deeper skin tone with my spray tan. Um, it works really well. I can build it up, but also when the spray tan wears off, I can just use a little bit less and it still works, but it makes my skin look very sculpted, very bronzed, which is what I love as like a vacation makeup. So I did use that. And if I were to use it in this routine, I would have done it before setting the face with powder. So right after concealer, I would have sculpted, totally forgot too, dang it, but just know that I did use this on those more glamorous occasions, um, which was only a couple of times, I guess, when we would go out to like a nicer place for dinner. If I was just doing something more casual, I always reach for it. this right here. This is the only powder bronzer that I brought. It's Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Light. I brought the light one so that I would have two different kinds of shades. Again, that's another top tip for me when I travel. I'll show you again side by side the color difference in these so you can kind of get a feel for the difference. So you can see how this one's a little bit deeper, but again, I can sheer it out. So when I have a tan, this is something that works really well. When the spray tan wears off and I just need a little warmth, I go in with this because it's a little bit lighter. So that's kind of like a theme that I'm noticing, bringing a couple shades, a couple different tones in different products, even if it's just one product per formula, like making sure that you have a variety of tones so that you can adjust accordingly. So here here we go, I'm gonna go into this bronzer. This is the um, A21 brush from that same Ariel collection. I'm just gonna start warming things up with this. And even when I did use that Huda Beauty one, I would also go over after setting the face with the loose Huda Beauty powder, I would always go into this as a little bit of a smoothing bronzer over top and they layer on top of each other really beautifully. So every time I did my makeup, I would use this bronzer, even if I used the contour before. 
So for highlighter, I only brought this Dior Quad because again, there's multiple shades. I could mix and match the shades depending on the undertone that I wanted or to match my skin tone on the day that I would get ready. So this was an amazing product to bring. I didn't use it as often as I thought I was going to though because again, the humidity kind of makes my skin extra dewy where here in Utah, I feel like I can add a lot more glow and it doesn't look too intense by the end of the day. So for me, I didn't use this too often because sometimes I would just let that humid air kind of make my skin look super dewy and leave it as that, like let that be my highlighter. Um, but for this look, I will go ahead and mix these top two shades so I can show you how it looks because I do love this highlighting quad. I think it's so beautiful. This is another product that always comes with me on vacation. I think again, because of the versatility with the colors in it, it's kind of a nice uh, four in one product. You can also use it on the eyes if you would like to. So I do find myself packing this a lot when I go on trips. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the high points of the face, down the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, and a little bit above the brows. So blush is one of those products that I feel like I panic and overpack. So I was going through my blush drawer and there are so many blushes that I really love and wanted to bring. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring a blush palette. And this worked out so well because it satisfied my blush cravings the entire time. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance um, palette. This is the Rouge Affair. So this is the Cool Tone palette, which I get so much use out of. I loved having this. I actually dipped into some of these deeper shades while I was there just for that intense pop of color. But the shades I use most every day were these. Um, I did dip into this one quite a bit too. I just mixed and matched, which was so fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna use the Morphe and Ariel A22 brush for this. So I'll show you exactly what I did. I would usually kind of hop into these two right here to start and then smile and apply that to like the apples of the cheeks more toward the back of the cheeks. And then I loved taking a brighter pop of color, sometimes fantasy, sometimes dainty. I'm gonna use fantasy today and smile and apply that a little bit higher, more toward the front of the cheeks, just for that extra sun-kissed kind of a look. Yeah, really loved bringing this palette on the trip. I thought it was brilliant. Once I got there, I was using that a ton. I used it every single day and I loved having the option of mixing and matching blushes because that's one of my favorite parts about vacation makeup. I feel like I usually do my eyes pretty simple. I'll do my lips pretty simple, but I do always love a pop of blush on the cheeks. So next, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill my brows. I, again, I panicked a little bit and brought a lot of brow products. So I brought my tried and true precisely my brow pencils. I actually brought two shades. I brought 3.5 and four because I rolled one of them up and it looked kind of like it was gonna run out soon. So instead of me running out on the trip, I brought both. I never ended up running out, which was good. Um, so I brought those two. And then I also last minute threw in this right here, the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is one of my favorites for super quick brows. So I did actually end up using this on those more chill makeup days. I should say makeup nights, because I, again, I didn't wear makeup during the day, which I will show you what I did for that at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and just fill in with my Precise My Brow Pencil. I'll use shade four today. This isn't the most exciting, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in off camera and we'll be back to do a quick eye look. Okay, so brows are on. We're gonna do a quick eye look. Again, I didn't bring anything crazy at all. I'm gonna use the Morphe and Ariel A11 brush and dip into the Makeup by Mario bronzer. This is literally what I did. Every time I did any sort of eye look, I just threw some bronzer into the crease really quick just to create a little bit of dimension there. I'm also gonna pinch the brush and add a bit of that on the lower lash line. And then I brought some glitter toppers for the eyes, which I thought was brilliant because again, I don't usually use eyeshadow palettes for trips like this where there's not um, anything super fancy to do, but I do like to do my makeup still. It's my favorite thing to do on vacation. So I brought three glitter eye toppers, one from Hourglass, two from Bodyography. Um, I have the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Reflect from Hourglass. This one is more of a bronze. I actually didn't end up using this one because when I did do my eyeshadow, I kept it pretty light and pretty ethereal. So these are the two that I mixed um, the most. This is the shade Stratus, which is a really beautiful kind of pinky 
sparkle shade and then I have sparkler which is like a pinky kind of gold shade. So let's see, I think I used Stratus a little bit more. Really loved how this looked on the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this on my finger and just kind of press it onto the eyelid for a little something special. I love this product so much. I focus most of this product in this inner portion, but I do like to have it scattered all over the lid. So I kind of lightly press more on the outer corner here. I will take a little bit of what's left and press it up toward the brow, just so it's like all over the eye, but focused right here. Same thing on this eye. Okay, and then do you know what I did? I actually brought another eyebrow product. I did end up using this in the brows too, quite a bit. So maybe I'll do that now. I'll take a little bit of the lighter shade and just kind of brush that in the inner portion. There's something about a brow powder that I really, really love for just a soft focus effect to your brows. So I'll pop a little bit of that on the brows, but I wanted to share this because I actually used the darker shade as eyeliner on the day where I did a more glamorous look. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of smudge this into the lash line and create a really soft wing lifting up from the outer corner. Nothing too intense at all, but just something to kind of ground that area because I actually did bring individual lashes that I had bought um, right before I went on the trip. And so I wanted to bring them with me to try them out. I ended up loving them. So I wanted to show you guys how they look. Isn't that pretty though? There's something I really love about it matching my brow color perfectly. So anyway, that was kind of a fun tip. I really enjoyed mixing and matching and using the same product for different things to really maximize, you know, this more minimal makeup kit that I brought. So for the lashes, I have always wanted to try these lashes. Um, ever since they came out, I just never ended up picking them up and then they were on sale a while back. So I finally bought a couple of them. These are the Swede Lashes and Nikki Makeup No Lash Lash. I love Nikki makeup, she's incredible. So I was really excited to finally be able to try these out. I only used these lashes on one of the nights because I needed a little bit more time to do my makeup. And some of the other nights where we went out, I just did a really quick five minute face. But I really enjoyed the process of doing my makeup with these and how they looked. So I'm gonna show you how these end up looking on the eyes. I packed with me my clear duo lash glue and some tweezers. So first I just put a little bit of lash glue on my hand and it took me a minute to figure out how these are laid out. So you have a short length right here and then you have medium. I think the two middle rows are long and then the two last rows are medium. So not too many shorts, which at first I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that because I usually use only short and medium in my other like Ardell lash collection. Um, but really, really loved how this ended up turning out. So I'm just gonna take the medium one. I pulled it from the top because I didn't wanna like mess up the lashes. So I kind of just, see if I can show you. I don't know why it's only focusing on the edge here, but I just grabbed it like that. I place it on my hand so that I can re-pick it up with my tweezers, dip it into the lash glue, and then I took my little handheld mirror that I had and I just popped that onto the lash line. Now, typically I do my mascara and then put these on, but in every tutorial I've watched of Nikki using these, she actually puts them on and then layers on mascara after. So I wanted to do what she did. I'm gonna continue with the mediums, kind of spacing them out a little bit further than I normally would. So I'm not popping them on right next to each other because I'm gonna layer in some of the larger length ones in between. So I like to start in the middle. I don't know why, it just kind of helps me gauge like where to apply the other ones. So I put another one right there. Again, starting with all medium length. I just applied another one to the edge. Okay, so total I have one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna go ahead and layer in a couple of the longer lengths, just sporadically in between the medium. Okay, I don't know how well that's gonna show up on camera without mascara yet, but I used four of the long, just in between each five, if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this eye and then we'll come back and apply mascara. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that glue dry before I apply mascara, but you can see how natural and fluffy it looks. Even before mascara, I think these are such beautiful lashes and they especially come together once you layer on that mascara on top because your natural lash kind of fuses with the individual lashes. 
These are not the cheapest lashes, so it pains me a little bit um, to use them, but at the same time, they really are a very, very high quality, very special shape when it comes to a lash. You could of course get a very similar effect using the Ardell individual lashes, which I love as well, but these ones are just so cool. I love how they kind of crisscross over each other. So while I wait for that to dry, because I don't want to apply mascara too early, otherwise I might risk removing them, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off any foundation on the lips. My number one lip liner was the NYX Mauve lip liner that I recently bought at Ulta. If you didn't see that video, I'll have it linked down below, um, but I will apply this all over. I think I only used this lip liner the entire trip. I'm so in love with it already. So yeah, I'm just lining and filling in the lips with this. And then I realized I need to go grab the lipstick that I used with this look upstairs. I still have it in my little purse that I brought. So I'm gonna go grab that so I can show you my go-to lip look that I wore. Okay, so I'm back. I wore this so much when we would go out. This is the NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Unrestricted. I loved this because again, when wearing a mask, I didn't want something too glossy. So I would just wear this. I think it's a perfect match for that lip liner too. But I would just wear this all over the lips and throw it in my purse for touch-ups. And it was like the perfect lip combo. I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of press that together. Okay, so before I apply mascara, I'm gonna throw on my Patrick Ta Precision Gel Liner in the shade Cream. This is the only eyeliner that I brought. I'm just gonna go ahead and line the waterline with this. And then for mascara, I brought three mascaras. Let me explain. So I brought these three. So these two are tried and true for me. The M Cosmetics, what is this called? Pick Me Up Mascara. This is a gorgeous mascara, never smudges or flakes, and it's borderline waterproof, almost waterproof. It still removes, um, but it takes a little bit more effort to remove. So I wanted to bring this because, you know, it was humid, it was hot, and in case I did want to wear a mascara in the daytime, this is what I would reach for. I also brought the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics, a classic. I brought the shade Crystal because it's a black-brown, so a little bit more of a softer look for occasions where I want that like no makeup makeup look at night like for more casual dinners then I brought with me this new Ilia mascara that I just recently tried out in a video it's the fullest volumizing mascara and this is the one that I tried out on more glam looks because it's a little bit more of a like volumizing mascara so this is what I wore when I went out to dinner with this specific look on so I'm gonna show you guys I've actually been really really enjoying it quite a bit I just kind of like would blink into the mascara to start to coat my regular lashes and infuse them into the individual lashes. Look how pretty and fluffy the lashes look with mascara on. I think it's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and layer that onto the lower lashes. I didn't have any issues with this smudging or flaking, even in the humidity. I will say I'm not using that much with these individuals, but so far so good on this mascara, you guys. I've really tried to give it a good shot so that I could come back to you guys and tell you how I felt about everything. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it so far. So just kind of using the ends to fuse those lashes together, but I didn't really go overboard. I just kind of kept it light and soft when using the extensions. I did go a little bit more intense with this without them, because you guys know how I am with my super full lash looks. I love a lot of mascara, so. I definitely wasn't afraid to layer it up on the days where I didn't have extensions, but again, I just really like that soft, feathery effect of the lashes with these Swede Lash extensions on. I think they're so pretty. And you'll notice I'm being extra gentle, again, just to make sure I don't twist or pull off one of those extensions because the glue could potentially still be a little bit wet. Okay, so here's how the lashes look with mascara. I love this effect. It's very Nikki makeup aesthetic, which I love. If you do not follow her on Instagram, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do, make sure to follow Nikki makeup. She's absolutely incredible. Okay, so if I did want a little gloss, I would apply the Bare Minerals Ingenuity. This is their mineralist gloss. I'll just do a little bit for this. But again, if I was gonna wear a mask for a while, I wouldn't. But just for the sake of this video, I wanna pop on a little gloss so you can see how pretty that combo is with gloss on top. And that's pretty much it. So this is where I would assess the situation. We're gonna, of course, take a little more bronzer just to really make sure everything is super sculpted. Don't forget to bronze up the ears. I'm normally not too like concerned about the ears, but again, just to really add to that like 
sun-kissed vacation effect. I think it is helpful, especially if you're wearing your hair back. Let's revisit the blush really quick. I'm just gonna take the shade Fantasy, that super bright color, and I'm gonna mix that with French Kiss, actually, the two top shades. Just kind of smile and add a little bit more. Because again, blush is the first thing to fade, so I always like to add a little extra. I'm then gonna take my powder brush, just kind of press over everything to make sure it's super blended. So I also actually would take my Dior Highlight Palette. I'm gonna mix those two same shades that we used on the face and I'm gonna use that to highlight the inner corner just to brighten things up there. Okay, and then I only brought one setting spray with me. I actually pack this in with my hair products because it's a little bit of a larger bottle. I don't have a travel size of this. So I packed it with those, but I would just pull it out when doing my makeup. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is like super glue for your makeup. So I really think this helps with the transfer when wearing a mask as well. Obviously, as well as the longevity throughout the night. So I'm just gonna make sure everything looks the way I want it to, which it does. So I'm just gonna spray this to really lock things in. I'm gonna let that kind of dry a little bit. And as it dries, I like to wait till it's about halfway dry. And then you guys probably know, I like to take my sponge and just gently press everything into the skin. Cause I love when my skin looks like skin where you can't really tell what's makeup and what's not or where the makeup starts and stops. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that into the skin. Um, I also never ever leave the house or never, or I don't ever not pack this product right here. Where did I put the, here, this, this little powder brush. My Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is always what comes in handy. So before the setting spray completely dries, I'm gonna take that powder brush we used earlier and I'm just gonna press this into the pores, the T-zone, anywhere that's gonna like transfer a little bit or sweat a little bit. So the tip of my nose, which also helps when you wear a mask. I'm gonna go right here to kind of smooth pores out. I'm gonna press it into smile lines. Go on the chin, also in the center of the forehead because that's where I get oily. I'm also gonna press it into the brows a little bit. Okay, and then I actually did bring two brow gels. I brought my usual, um, the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit, my favorite. But also since I recently tried out the Patrick Ta brow gel, I threw that in my bag as well and really, really enjoyed it the entire trip. I'm gonna use this one today. It's basically like super glue for your brows. It's really amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this brow gel from Patrick Ta through the brows for that super feathery look. I love the applicator on this. It feels like it really, really grips every single brow hair and coats them evenly in product. I'm really enjoying this brow gel a lot. It has even more hold than my Benefit one. So if you're ever looking for something more intense, I am really loving this one so far. It dries down like a hairspray, like super glue, and does not budge all day, which again was so great in that more humid climate. Love that so much. Okay, I think that's everything, you guys. That completes this more like casual glam. This is as glam as I went on my trip, but I loved it. That's how I wanted things. Um, I'm obsessed with this look. I'm obsessed with the lashes. I think it looks, so effortless, but also very put together. In pictures, it looks so amazing. Um, I wanted to run through the last couple of things that I didn't share with you guys yet. Um, I actually had brought my color corrector from Bobbi Brown in the shade Extra Light Bisque. I didn't end up using this at all. I thought I might in case I lost some sleep, but I never ended up using it. I also brought the Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade Christy. I think I used that once while I was on the trip. So I definitely mostly use the NARS lip product along with that mauve lip liner. Oh, I also brought some other lip liner shades that I'll show you in a second. Um, I made sure to bring a pencil sharpener. Also this Dior Lip Glow Balm, so amazing for those more casual dinner nights where I used, let me show you what I used for those. So I basically do one of the Super Goop primers. Then I would go in with my Laura Geller Powder Foundation. Now this is in the shade Fair. So I do have Porcelain and Fair. So Fair is the slightly deeper one. So I only brought that one and it worked great. I would buff it on with my ColourPop F29 brush. It's my favorite brush to use with that. Then I would do the same powder Mario bronzer, mix the blushes from the Rouge palette. I would throw on a lip liner, sometimes Peekaboo Neutral from NYX, which is another one that I brought. And then I also brought Nude Beige from NYX. And I also brought Pat McGrath Contour. 
but usually I would use Peekaboo Neutral or Mauve, throw this Dior product on the lips, and then do the Thrive Cosmetics brown mascara. Of course, fill my brows, do a little brow gel, and that was like my everyday, more casual dinner makeup look. So. That's everything that I packed. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I brought with me, hearing what I used the most, what I didn't end up using. I would love to hear in the comments if there are things that you always pack in your makeup bag when traveling. What are the things that you cannot live without? For me, it's this, it's this Dior thing, it's also this Huda Beauty contour. Like these three things always come with me. And then I kind of mix and match the other things depending on what my vacation is. But yeah, I love this look. I hope you guys did too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I will be sure to link every product that I packed and used in the description box down below, as well as my bag, the classic bag collection that I brought. If this is something that's a little bit small for what you like to pack, I do have my full bag collection as well, which is on my website. So I'll have those linked down below as well. I really had fun filming this. I've never done something like this. So let me know if you would love to see more of these in the future when I do end up going somewhere and packing my makeup. I think it's fun to see what people bring with them and the looks that they create when they choose to travel. And yeah, it just really says something about the products that people pack on vacation, I feel like. So anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.